boys welcome back to a brand new video and today we got something exciting for you guys i know this is why most of you guys are on the channel is for this style of video so we're back with a new one today now i do want to make it clear that a couple of days ago from when i'm recording this there was a super good money making method out on Fortunately, I was not around and capable of making a video on the topic, so we're not gonna be covering it today, but I am here to pretty much inform you at the beginning of this video that that has been fixed, it no longer works, so there's no point in me even covering what it was in this video. If there does happen to be a workaround to that method, I will be putting a video up on that, but today, we're gonna be taking a look at the best ways that are in the game to make money right now. I'm gonna provide you with what I do to make money. As you guys can see, I'm almost maxed out on credits. It does help that I am legendary tuner or painter, but there are still many ways to make money on top of that. And we're gonna be walking through all of those today. Now for the first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys today, I used to cover this a lot on the channel, but it's been so long and there's been so many new people coming to the game. I figured I might as well add it, not only just so you can get yourself some wheel spins or super wheel spins, but there are people that want to max out their perks on every car. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, essentially you come to your car mastery here. And as you can see, there's all these perks you can go ahead and fill out that help you earn more skill points or higher scores in general and these points are kind of hard to come by for the most part so today we're going to be covering how to get these initially and to start off you're going to want to get your hands on the sesto elemento for the best result you don't need it it's not a necessity in order to do this you're just going to be getting fewer skill points every time but once you have your hands on one of those you're going to go to event blueprints and what you're going to be doing is searching for an event blueprint and right here at the bottom where it says share code you're going to be inputting this number that i'm going to be putting on screen for you right now so it's right beside me here i'm very horrible with this you can go ahead pause the video i'm not going to read it out but once you get all these things together go ahead and launch it as solo pick the car that you plan on using obviously in my case it's going to be the sesto elemento because it does yield the highest results it's also not too expensive of a car you can get it out of super wheel spins now this is pretty much the most important part of the whole process you're going to go to difficulty settings difficulty and steering you want to make sure you're on auto steering and shifting set it to automatic your credits go down it doesn't matter we're going to be quick restarting the race anyways you can be on manual if you would like i just find it much easier to go on automatic and then you're going to go ahead and start the race and from here it's pretty much the easiest thing you're going to do i generally start a little bit slower because they fix the auto steering in this game it used to be a lot better but now it takes a little bit to kick in and it's not as good as it once was but once you get going in a straight line you can just hold your trigger down and as you can see we're getting a ton of points at the top of the screen there and at the end of the race this ends up adding to about nine and a bit skill points so every single time you do this you'll get at least nine and occasionally you get 10 skill points and as you can see here it takes under 30 seconds to complete so then once it does go ahead and finish as you can see at the bottom of the screen <laughs> over here i'm so bad with this um we have a continue button and a restart button if you have as many skill points as you would like you can go ahead and continue but if you restart you can keep stacking up skill points don't matter it saves your previous races it's just an easy way to not have to go find the race every single time i'm going to continue though for sake of time and as you can see before that race we had 225 now we have 234 we only got nine it's hit and miss more often than not you're going to be getting nine Anyways, you can use this, get as many perks as you want, stack those up because every now and then they'll release a car that's very easy to get super wheel spins with. There's not one right now that's worth covering, but if you have cars in your garage that have super wheel spins, go ahead, open them up. You can get your hands on at least a few dozen. I was able to do this myself. But now for the way of actually making money in today's video, you're gonna wanna go ahead and travel to the festival. And there's actually two main cars we're gonna be looking at today. The first one's actually the brand new Audi that just released because this this car currently, if you don't know, is going for 20 million credits. However, it's not actually selling out every single time at 20 millions. There's actually a lot of these on the auction house, but they do sell every two to three times you list your up. So it is worth looking for because since it isn't selling every time, people are likely to sell it for less and less. I'm gonna set my maximum buyout here to 6 million. Keep in mind, this isn't what you have to spend. I have more money to throw around, so I'm willing to spend a little more because I still make a $14 million profit. However, if you only have a few million dollars, even $1 million, 
set your maximum buyout to that, whatever you're able to. You just might not get as many show up. However, if you find one, then you increase your amount that you're able to play with. You, you're pretty much building up the amount of money you have so that you can spend more and make more. Here's one for 300,000. They are coming up and the cheapest, I believe, is even below 300,000. Not a lot of people are going for this car right now. And I just made over, well, 19 million credits or whatever. In the period of this video, this car is coming up a lot. I definitely recommend looking for this one before any of these other ones. Now the next car we're gonna be looking at is the Sunshine here. I don't even want to try and pronounce the first name because I'm gonna screw it up. You guys are gonna make fun of me. But this is another one of those cars that's going for about 20 million credits. It's weird, lots of them are up sometimes and then there's none up. I don't really know how to explain how it's happening. However, there's enough of them going up consistently where you can do the exact same thing. I'm gonna set my buyout to 5 million on this one. You Again, you can do all the way up to 10 million. You're still gonna be making a lot of profit or if you only have the $1 million. But since this car is selling immediately when you put it on the auction house, not as many of them are coming up and it might take a little bit longer. But if you don't know how the auction sniping generally works and people put them up is they get these modded accounts and for whatever reason, people can copy and load save files and they just like to flood the auction house with cars that shouldn't be up there as much as possible. So they'll put them up for the minimum buyout price. I know people always ask why they sell them for so low or they claim that it doesn't work. This is proof and reasoning as to why it does work. It's not people selling their collections. It's just modded accounts trying to get more of the car into the game. Now this last car is a more relaxed auction snipe for you guys. If you're just starting to get into it, I figured I'd include one in the video. This car right here only sells for about 5 million credits and there's lots of them going up because you can get in a wheel spin and people get them all the time. So it's a very good car to start with because since it only sells for 5 million, not a lot of people go around searching for it, but you can go ahead and buy them for a million or less. I honestly wouldn't recommend spending over a million. This car can go as low as 100,000, I believe. And just be patient. Enough of these are gonna come up. It's a good way to practice your button movements, getting it more comfortable with how you wanna go ahead and purchase the cars. And if you have a smaller amount of starting money, this is a good way Way to build that up just by searching and hopefully getting lucky with something. I don't do this one anymore, obviously, because I try to make more money, but this is a very viable option if you're just trying to get into it. And it's much more relaxed too if you're on an older gen console or your internet's not as fast. This is probably the best option for you as of right now. Anyways, boys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Let me know down below if you made it all the way through to the end. There's a lot of stuff happening in Forza right now, and especially with the updates that are coming out, there's probably gonna be many more money exploits, so I'm gonna be sure to be on top of those for you boys. Anyways, make sure you guys are subscribed with the bell notification so you catch the videos right when they come out, because generally when people watch this a little bit in the past, people are already searching for these cars, and it's a little harder to come by. Anyways, that's all from me. We're gonna see you in two days with another banger of a video. As always, I'm out. Oh, peace. Ha, 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 ha.